Hey guys, once people purchase the IQ3 Street Dash, they really come to realize the amount of expandability you can actually do with this product. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys how to add any sort of additional VNet sensor to your IQ3 Street Dash and then also place it onto the dash into a different location. So what I've done here is, is I've taken a just a generic, uh, this happens to be a trans temp module and sensor, and we're gonna go ahead and add it into our IQ3 data logger here. Um, this happens to be the IQ3 Street Dash. And so uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and kind of mocked this up here and uh, got some power to it so we can show you how to do this. But essentially, you're gonna take your VNet module and you're gonna take it to the rest of the stack or onto the VNet port onto the back of the dash. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And then you're gonna string your programming cable from the back of your dash to your laptop. And then from there, let's show you how easy it is to do some programming. So the first thing you're gonna do after you've plugged in your VNet module to the back of the dash and your programming cable in and powered it all up, is you're gonna go over here to your Datalink 2 program on your laptop. And we have to open our car configuration for the particular dashes we're working with. So in this case today, we're working with a IQ3 street dash. So I'm gonna click file and then open car configuration. And in this particular computer, I have a bunch of different configs, but um, the first one here is IQ3. And then as you can see, there's a ton of different IQ3 models that we offer. But in this particular case, we are using the IQ3 street dash. So you wanna make sure you click IQ3 config street and then click OK. And then from there, um, you may have some channels that pop up. You may not, depending on if you've already read it into the system or not. So essentially, uh, you have your IQ3 street channel, engine RPM, speed, gear, coolant, oil temp, et cetera, et cetera. All the channels that come basically built into the, uh, the IQ3 street. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an additional sensor. So with everything powered on, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go ahead and click edit in the upper left corner, and I'm gonna click read new channels. And then what's gonna happen here is it's gonna ask you, is this configuration set as your default on your computer? What that means is, you know how we went through and we did the file open car configuration? We can have it to where this, this config is automatically always prompted when you open up your software. Now in my case, I use a lot of different configs on this computer, so I'm gonna not make the above configuration, but I'm gonna perform the requested operation this time only. If you would like to default it, just go ahead and click this one. Um, it doesn't matter either way, it's, it's up to you. Um, in this particular case, I'm gonna click do not. And then from there, it's just essentially gonna uh, scan through and add additional channels. So what it did here is it says, it, it appears that you've added a new sensor. Um, would you like to add it to your new time telemetry window? Um, let's go ahead and push yes, so that way you guys can see how to do this. You can click no and it won't affect anything, but if you guys run telemetry from your laptop to your dash, this is something that you will wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. And then your dash info page is gonna pop up here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click the little dash info tab here and then this shows you all your defined channels within your system and then also the currently selected real-time channels. So I went ahead and uh, scroll through here and I, I know I added a trans temp, so I'm going to click on it here, highlight it in blue, and then I'm gonna click this little arrow pointing to the right. And when I do that, it see how it adds it over here into my, my real-time window? And then once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click send the configuration and go ahead and click OK, and then OK to get out of that box. And again, all that did was is add it to my real-time telemetry window if that's something that I go ahead and run. You don't have to do that part. Um, that's completely up to you. But see, now how we have a trans temp channel button down here uh, because we've added it to the system via the VNet. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and add this to my dash so I can see it when I'm driving on the car, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go ahead and locate the IQ3 street config, and I'm gonna right click on that, and it's gonna bring me back into my, my uh, dash configuration page here. And as you can see, there's four pages of inputs that you can put for an IQ3 street dash or any of our IQ3 products. It'll say display page one, two, three, and four. Um, you can put this pretty much anywhere you want. The only one that uh, I'll make a note and say that uh, you might wanna keep an eye on is this center one, the one that says gear. A lot of people try to put uh, 
you know, say trans temp there or something like that. But keep in mind that this center number on each page is only one digit. So that's why it's used for gear or GPS satellites or something that's either just a zero or a one or one through nine. You can't put a double digit or three digit thing here in the middle. So in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'll just go ahead and add it to display page one. So um, I'm not really concerned too much about battery voltage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, you can select any of these along the bottom or on the top, it's up to you. Um, you go ahead and select the box, and I'm gonna go ahead and change this one to trans temp. So this box is gonna pop up and it's gonna say channel to display. So obviously there's battery voltage there. All I need to do is click the drop down, and then just you can scroll through here and see all the different things that you can put there. Uh, in this particular case, I'm gonna locate the trans temp which is the additional sensor that I've added. I'm gonna click okay here. And it's gonna ask me how many decimal points do I want to display after the value. Uh, in a trans temp case, I don't really care about having anything read say 75.2 degrees. So I'm just gonna click make that zero. The averaging filter, which means these, these sensors, they, sample at such a high rate at 25 samples per second that sometimes the values on the dash can be going crazy, but you can average them so that way it's every fifth or tenth uh, value on the dash. A lot of times this will average out to either five or 10. Um, we'll just leave it at five for now because that's pretty good. Um, and then see how it says channel tag text bat V currently? Yes, because we had battery voltage there before. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to trans and keep in mind everything needs to be capitalized here um, that's just the way that the programming is and then once it says trans I'm going to go ahead and click OK see how it uh, in the bottom right here is where we did it trans temp is now there I'm going to go ahead and send the configuration click OK to the device click OK there and Basically, I'm off to the races. We can double check here and see, um, if you can see on the camera there, it says uh, trans temp and uh, 164 degrees currently. Um, that's actually an error code because I don't have a sensor plugged into it, but it's all right there on the bottom right and you're off to the races or off to the burnout box or off to doing donuts, whatever you want to do with your IQ3 street, three street dash, you're good to go. Now you know how to add an additional sensor to it and possibilities are endless. For more information, be sure to log on to racepack.com or give us a call toll free at 888-429-4709.